YouTube, uh, welcome to my channel for a new video, this time for a great, great, great and great fragrance, a great cologne, once again by the house of Hermes. This time it's gonna be Eau d'Orange Verte Cologne by Hermes. As you can see, this is the bottle. So I had to do a review for this one because I mean of all the citrus colognes that I have and have tried this is of the better interpretations because it smells just uh, so 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 natural uh, it smells very fresh like a revitalizing boost of energy zesty green tonic the smell is just I mean very natural I mean uh, not synthetic at all anyways uh, by the way to not uh, to not confuse this one with uh, with aroma d'orange vert also launched by Hermes there is a few by Hermes that that a lot of people confuse with this one uh, there is also the concentré d'orange vert which is uh, a concentrated version of this one uh, there is the Concentré de Pamplemousse Rose which smells a little bit uh, like this very close but uh, there is some type of difference there is also Eau d'Orange Douce uh, from 2005 very very similar to this one but yet not to confuse the, uh, the two uh, there is also Ro Ro Rose Amazon, Rose Amazon by Hermes as well. Very, very similar, but not the same thing. I mean, just not to confuse those with this one. This one is an EDC Eau de Cologne, Eau d'Orange Vert by Hermes. Very lovely bottle. So the year of the la launch was uh, 1979, but it was. Uh, they recreated or relaunched by uh, by the famous perfumer of the house Hermes, Mr. Jean Claude Elena. Uh, it was not refer for uh, reformulated. It was just recreated, like relaunched once again to the to the public, to the to the market. Uh, gender, I think it's unisex. Definitely uh, more masculine. But both uh, sexes can definitely uh, rock it. Uh, availability is definitely it's still in production. And if you can get a hold of uh, one of these uh, for a good price, for a bargain, I mean, just go for it. You will not regret it, especially if you love colognes, if you love EDC, all the colognes. Um, so I did a little bit of research about it on online and there is a, a few texts that I liked about it online. Uh, there is this one that I saw, it says The founding cologne created by Françoise Caron in 1979 and inspired by the smell of undergrowth moist with morning dew, this fragrance has asserted itself as an emblem of Hermes and stands out for its distinctive freshness. I mean, that's it. This is the perfect <laughs> description for this uh, cologne. And as I said, it is an Eau de Cologne, by the way. It's not an EDT or EDP. Uh, so for the notes, the top notes, uh, lemon, mandarin, mint, blackcurrant, bud, uh, hard notes, papaya, mango, base notes, oakmoss and patchouli and what a combination <laughs> uh, the smell uh, as I said the scent very very natural uh, you can tell I mean uh, from the first spray you can tell that this is like a high quality quality cologne if you know what I mean a bit more uh, information about this uh, cologne uh, I believe since 1979, the formulation of uh, Eau d'Orange Verte, this EDC, haven't really changed at all. I would say this is one of the one of the rarest fragrances to not change, and it succeeded to go through the destinies and 
the years and just stay authentic. And by the way, in 2004, uh, when Jean-Claude Elena, uh, the famous perfumer of the house Hermès, when he, when he arrived to the house of Hermès, it was the start for him. Uh, it was like the source of his in inspiration that helped uh, develop the following, uh, the whole following lines of the Hermes perfumes, uh, either the colognes or the perfumes or the Jardin line. Um, I mean, most of them si since then, since 2004. And as you can see, it's a beautiful looking bottle. Let's have a close up again to to the flacon. Here it says Eau d'Orange Vert and uh, Cologne Hermes on the top. It has this nice uh, cap, very very practical and uh, very very nice atomizer. I love this atomizer in this bottle. This bottle actually has the same exact uh, shape of the whole uh, of all the those uh, other colognes by Hermes, and it uh, looks kind of similar a little bit to to those uh, from the Jardin line, like this one from uh, like this one, the Un Jardin sur le Toit. But these has, uh, I mean, these bottles has uh, heavier heavier glass, heavier bottom, and that makes this cologne much uh, better. I mean, the bottle makes it uh, perfect like uh, a portable uh, kind of fragrance that you can take with you to the work to work to the gym uh, travel with it uh, very easy to carry it's beautiful it's perfect and it's nice of course I already wore it many times uh, already tested but I will have to spray some for the camera and uh, have and tell you my uh, impressions again all over again and I love the way the sprayer sprays perfect I really love it but oh man what a opening what a opening from this fragrance what a beautiful fresh opening guys I love this so much this screams vitality and freshness out loud this is definitely a top cologne. I mean, uh, this is high class. This smells sophisticated, smells expensive, and I would say a little bit mature. Uh, but back to the opening, I mean, it's like a strong, natural, like a strong, natural, minty, citrusy vibe, uh, like a bitter, tart, lemon peel top note. It's really beautiful. It's like leaves. Uh, it's like, uh, I mean, pretty much all types of oranges and lime are mixed here. Uh, like the fruits and the leaves all together, all along. With a, with a lovely note of patchouli. And there is that definitely, I mean, definitely there is a sharp mango vibe in it. It is mentioned that there is papaya in the hard notes, but I really never really really felt it. Uh, I mean, after all those times that I wore this, this uh, cologne, and uh, I would say, yeah, I would say lovely note of patchouli with a sharp mango vibe, and there is like that deep vibe of oak moss, and it's very very balanced. Uh, the blend, I mean, it's beautiful very well balanced this is a work of art this Hermes I mean this uh, cologne screams uh, I mean the Hermes DNA in it is undeniable it's outstanding what a beautiful scent energizing it's like a fresh shower this is sensational and uh, speaking of oranges, by the way, uh, there is a, a huge difference between green oranges and uh, orange oranges, like this one over here. This is an orange orange, <laughs> and uh, the green uh, orange, if you ever tried it, guys, 
uh, it's really more citrusy, more like more acidic than the usual oranges. It's like lime, but in a sweet way, like lemon. It's like a sweet lemon, if you know what I mean. Uh, the last time I had uh, green oranges, I swear I had my eyes uh, were very teary, <laughs> but the taste was wonderful. And it brings me back, this scent it brings me back to my childhood, to some memories when we were kids and we would, uh, we would uh, let's say, we, let's say, steal <laughs> some, uh, some fruits of these uh, green oranges. And it was a great pleasure eat, eating, eating them and a uh, great taste. It was really lovely. I also smelled this, I mean, when I was, uh, when I was a kid, I would smell it on uh, older people, like uh, family or friends, uh, friends of the family, etc. And uh, from of both sexes, uh, men and women. And that definitely confirms that this fragrance is unisex. Uh, which, uh, what is uh, unfortunate about this cologne, that it fades away pretty much quickly, which is a bit disappointing. Because, uh, you know, you just love it so much at the beginning, you literally fall in love. It's like, uh, I would describe it, it's like uh, falling in love with a beautiful, beautiful woman that leaves you the next morning, if I could say that. Uh, so, the projection and the longevity are a bit on the short side. So, the sillage is pretty weak, I would say. Uh, not really a date kind of fragrance. Uh, definitely not uh, for a date but you can rock it for work or as it's not uh, very offensive work or a usual usual business meeting if you're traveling uh, by plane or train etc and it's easy to carry as I said before uh, but uh, let me tell you guys this is what uh, quality cologne is supposed to do this is definitely a, a top Cologne, uh, high class, high quality, old school, uh, chic, elegant. Uh, I would say this is for the true, true gentleman. Uh, it's definitely a work of art. And um, uh, let me tell you a trick about uh, this one, like two tricks that I found uh, found out. I would say wear this a few minutes before. Voyage d'Hermes. If you have Voyage d'Hermes, wear this um, a few minutes before. It just becomes magical. Uh, it make, becomes really, really beautiful. And if you can buy the whole baseline with all its products, uh, somehow the cologne lasts longer, like the whole day and night. Uh, when you use the body wash, the gel, and, the, and this EDC. It is expensive, but I guess that's the trick. I mean, uh, that's how it works. The aroma, the sensation, and the ex exquisite pleasure that you get, and the great feeling will, uh, I mean, uh, that you will get from, from it, will tell you it's, it's all worth it. <laughs> and uh, maybe that's what it, it was intended, uh, intended by uh, Hermes, to get you to buy the whole baseline setup. And uh, I would say uh, this is the type of fragrance that goes from father to son. And uh, this is very versatile, by the way, uh, and which I love, uh, love it about it. Uh, you can wear it during summer, uh, during a hot sunny day, during spring or autumn, during a sunny day. Sometimes it's sunny, of course, uh, during fall. And uh, let me tell you guys, this is one of my favorite colognes, my, one of my favorite EDCs, uh, in my top 5, if not my top 3 best colognes ever. Um, so for my personal rating, I would give it a 9 out of 10 for, for uh, colognes and 7.5 uh, overall. Uh, anyways guys, I hope you liked this video. Please help uh, the channel with a like button if you like the video, leave a comment if you want, and please subscribe if you're not subscribed. Alright guys, 
See you next time for the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.